All right, today we're gonna do a little beer review for my buddy Eddie because he gave me a beer. That's what we do. So we're gonna be looking at this beer. It's in Hume by Ghost Town Brewery. One can say that I'm going to inhume this beer into my belly. Is that, is that used correctly? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with it. So, um, what I look for in a beer is something very tasty, something very light, but heavy at the same time. You know, I like to coat my mouth, coat my gullet, let it sink down into my belly and make me feel full. Um, so I'm looking for a Citra, which, what do you know? I got some, I have my face here. I got some Citra hops there. Right there, yep. Seven uh, percent. This is gonna be interesting. Usually, it's a little hard to get a smooth finish on a seven percenter, but you know what? It's the testament to a good beer drinker or a good beer maker. I'm a good beer drinker, but not a beer maker. Although I'm gonna start making my own beers here pretty soon. Woo! Look at that foamy pour. that in frame right there so as you can see we have a nice golden glow through the glass it tells me that's beer especially these little percolating bubbles here at the bottom it tells me that it's beer uh, something about the bubbles and like the right amount of bacteria working I don't know I just drink beer so here we go I'm gonna try one again. Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just do one more. I get notes of uh, tangerine, which is probably why they use orange as their color. Give you a hint on like what kind of fruits they're throwing in there. There's no description on this can whatsoever. Sometimes I like a little story to go along with my beer that I'm drinking. Um, but yeah, it's actually really good. And it is light and kind of heavy at the same time. Like on the front of your palate when you're drinking, you're like, ooh, is that a Coors Light? And then it hits the back of your throat. And you're like, oh no, that's no Coors Light. That's something with a little more flavor and oomph. It's got to be an IPA. It is. But yeah, I'm definitely getting notes of tangerine, and it is not harsh or bitter. I mean, for the average Coors Light drinker, sure, it's bitter. But for a real sophisticated IPA connoisseur like the one you're looking at, it's not. But yeah, definitely getting some some notes of tangerine, and and it is it's pretty light for a for an IPA. I mean, it is seven percent, so it is on the lighter side. So let's go to my rating here. I think you know the color. I give it a solid seven. Um, the the heftiness of the beer, I would give. I'm going to I'm going to give it an 8.5 because I like how light it feels. Like I can I can crush this poolside and not be sweating, you know what I mean? And flavor God, I love this song. Ernest, you need to listen to Ernest. Uh, yeah, flavor, I'm going to give an 8. That is a that was a delicious beer. But, you know, to get to the 9s and 10s, it's really hard especially on this palette so eddie i want to send out a sincere thank you for this delicious beer but now i'm gonna go finish it without you having to watch me later dude